Like, for instance here, we're introduced to these guys, these Poliwalka <laughs> enemies, um, and yeah, you saw those guys on the, on the Wii version a few times, and they were just kind of nuisances, whereas in this version they're pretty much primarily used for puzzle solving, um, and uh, like, yeah, just burning like an ice wall and stuff like that. I think in, a, in the DLC stage you have to use it to light some torches. Um, so, yeah, just some puzzle elements going on here. And, yeah, this is, this is, um, oh, oh <laughs> easy, easy there. Um, and you get, like, stuff like this where, if you're careful, you can go over here and, um, you can get a medal and some rings. So, just rewards careful play and, uh, you know, it's good stuff. Um, I actually... I would honestly say that the like exploration with the Werehog is like some of the most entertaining. Uh, okay, that's not the right thing I need to do. Um, exploring with the Werehog is like some of the most satisfying like exploration I can find in in a Sonic game, honestly, because I I can enjoy like looking like looking around stage like regular Sonic stages. Um, and like finding uh, secret paths and uh, hidden one-up boxes and stuff like that. But there's something inherently more exciting about looking around a, a night stage like this and being able to find rewards like the med like the moon and like sun and moon medals, the like other collectibles that are in the game and whatnot, um, and. Like, it just, something about that just feels a lot more satisfying to me. Um, and just the way the levels are designed, me, uh, like, the levels are designed in a way where it encourages you to explore them to your heart's content. And, uh, I feel like, I don't, I don't feel like any other Sonic game really taps into that, to the same level as these stages do. Um, and... Yeah, the, that's one of the main reasons why I enjoy these stages so much, is that um, like exploring to find stuff is just inherently exciting to me, and picking picking them up just tr like intrinsically feels good to do, um, so that I'm pretty much always in the mood to want to like do that as I as, as I play them. Like I don't feel satisfied just go like running to the end, if you will. Um, unless I'm like trying to get a good time or something, um, or like I'm replaying a stage and already have like a bunch of the collectibles. Um, so I, I, I'm one of the like what is it? I'm I'm like really awkward like trying to gather my thoughts here, but I don't really mind how long a Sonic stage is as, lo as long as I'm enjoying my time with it. Like if I'm doing fun stuff in the stage. And I'm not like bored to death, then I don't care how long the stage is. Um, like as long as it's like I'm enjoying it, it's challenging me in a entertaining way that I can get behind, and I'm enjoying just looking around and stuff. Um, I'd say you made a pretty good level in like for me, like for me specifically. I can't speak for anyone else, but that's what I look for pretty much. Like if I'm just enjoying the level. The length itself is like the least of my problems, really. Like that, like I, gu I guess it's a double-edged sword, sword with that though, in the sense that, um, what is it? If you re if you really don't like a level and it drags on for like ten <laughs> like ten years, then that's gonna really suck. Uh, so there is that, and there are some levels in Lost World 3DS which would put heroes to shame in, in terms of like level length and the problem there is that um some of those stages that are like 20 something minutes long i don't even know it's i haven't played lost world 3ds in years but i remember some of those stages dragging on for like an eternity and the issue there compared to like the werehog or heroes or whatever is that 
some of those stages just have really annoying gimmicks um, to the point where, yeah, I'm not having fun. And the the fact that they're 20 something minutes long just exa like, what is, what's the word? Like, exacerbates. <laughs> I, I, it makes a problem worse. I, I know the word I'm trying to say, but I just don't know how to pronounce it. Um, I'll put it on the screen. But. Yeah. It, yeah, when a level is long and you hate it, then that's that's uh, when the issues uh, like start coming in. Um, so yeah, I I do I can understand why long levels would be an issue, but for me, it's it, again it's really it's mainly when you don't like a level um, and exacerbate like is it exacerbates I don't, I don't know. It sounds like I'm saying masturbate in like a really weird way. I don't know. Uh, whatever. You know what I mean. Like, it just makes the issue more pronounced. But yeah, uh, talking about this level for a minute. Um, yeah, I just, I just, again, I just love how there's so much stuff going on. Like, we had to melt an ice pillar to uh, go up a, uh, a uh, like, we had to climb up an ice wall kind of similar to um, how we had to climb up the Chunan waterfall in, in on the way um, and then we go into this fighting section and then we go down in this uh, slide area and get some metal if we're good uh, if we tie, like angle ourselves right and we get some more fighting and um, yeah it, it's good really good stuff like I love how open this this world this um level is so you get a chance to just look around and find things um and there's just a lot of cool fit a lot of cool uh, stuff going on and we haven't actually seen every mechanic that this level has yet um and yeah like we got these fire polywells we were introduced to them earlier and now we get some more stuff with them we burn this wall down um and then we can get a secret by moving this block here. Um, and uh, can I like? It feels like I can just grab that. Surprise! I can't. Yeah, this is really good design. Like, like th yeah, this is this is definitely one of my favorite stages between the two ver two versions. And this, this is also why I can't consciously say that the Werehog is bad or, like, all this other stuff that people tend to say. Like, I... Okay. If you don't like the Werehog because you aren't a fan of this gameplay, that's fair enough. But I, I just... I can't in good conscience say, like, say I don't like this because this is pretty... Like, this is doing so much right that I just can't really say I'm not, I'm not a fan because I do really enjoy this stuff and um, like I feel like this is this is basically the last stage in, okay easy <laughs> easy there uh, the last stage until we get to the uh, second half of the game basically and I feel like this is a good send-off for the first half because like this is like way more involved than anything we've seen up to this point. Um, there's a lot more dangerous platforming and set pieces going on, so you have to be on your toes. You can't just expect an easy experience like Chunan. <laughs> um, I, I know, I keep on bringing up Chunan, but it's easy It's easy to do that because it's the last stage we did. Um, and, uh, yeah, I, I feel that the, um, just... This level is perfect for this point in the game, um, for both versions, but especially HD. Um, and it's amazing how it doesn't oversaturate with too many fights. Like there's, okay, I need to get rid of the wizard guy. Um, like there's, there's still a lot of fights, and you need to be. Okay, okay, okay let me like get up, please. <laughs> there's still a lot of fights. And you need to be careful because ice physics and whatnot, and you can easily fall off if you're careless. Um, but yeah, it's a it's 
really good stuff. Good point. Uh, good level for this point in the game. Uh, good challenge. Um, like good, really good design, and uh, just yeah. This, I have nothing. I have nothing bad to say about about like about the stage. To be honest, like it's basically for this for the, like this point in the game. It's basically perfect. Like. I have nothing bad to say about it. And like earlier like earlier we like we saw like an a like this like the ice slide and then like a little bit over there we got like a more dangerous version of that. So this also another instance of uh like the level being able to like flesh out its ideas without feeling like everything's being too cramped, like together, um, and it's, it's great stuff. Like man, like this is this is how you do a werehog level right. Like um, the um, like Chunan was how to do it, like mediocrely. Not mediocrely. That's a good word that doesn't exist. Um, like Chunan is is a way where like. It's fine, I guess, but like it could have been a lot better. This is how you do it better. Like this is like when I said how Chunan was a bit underwhelming in terms of just what it was doing and how it felt. It felt like it was trying to do too much and not enough at the same time. Um, this is this is essentially what I mean. Like this, th like this stage basically is basically what I would what I wanted Chunan to be. Like obviously it's like different continents, so it's not going to be the same level design or anything like that. But I mean, it's in the sense that it has enough time to flesh out its uh, concepts. It's not too long and it's not too short, um, and it has a good pacing with how many fights you have and how much platforming there is. Um, the concepts are interesting and they teach you them at a good pace, and they feel like they all belong. Um, and yeah. Great stuff. Like I, I, I know I'm pretty much repeating myself here, but like, I really have nothing to criticize with this level. Like, it has exploration. Like, um, you have some secrets to find, and some like like earlier on, like if we like we had to like tiptoe on that platform to get a moon, like a medal. I forget. I forget if it was sun or moon, but either way, we had to get a medal doing that, and other such things and yeah this this is how you do the werehog right <laughs> essentially like i i know i think on the original run i still put this level in really high regard and i still stand by that um i think back then i called it my favorite werehog stage i don't know if i'd still stand by that specifically but it's definitely it's definitely up there it's definitely one of the best And, uh, yeah. Good stuff for all around, really. No complaints from me. Uh, let's just get combat up. Cordia. Oh good, <laughs> nice. <laughs> so the uh, HD version just makes you move like five feet. So uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys for the Dark Mori fight on the on the Wii because this game's really weird. <laughs> I guess. Oh what? what uh, okay, I didn't plan on record like uh, showing that like me warping in but like <laughs> the hell was going on the world like why was he t-posing <laughs> i've never seen that before that, that was really weird but yeah this is what makes this so bizarre like the uh, end of the where like the night stage there was clearly like a little um a little narrow passageway through the wall and they're clear that's clearly what they were walking through there so i don't i don't know why they 
felt the need to make me go through a um like like walk like five feet to the boss gate like what's what's the point <laughs> okay boss time it is So, um, I'd probably say that of the three, um, world bosses, um, like, not counting, like, endgame and stuff, uh, this is probably, um, this is probably, yeah, I'd probably say this is my favorite, uh, Werehog fight. The, uh, spoiler alert, but the, uh, last fight we do is basically just a straight out brawl, which, as you may have remember, like, may remember from the the uh, Dark Guy Phoenix fight, I said that, like, the, um, what is it? I, I said that the um, Werehog bosses should have been more like that, so you're probably wondering why I'd put this one higher, and that's just mainly for the fact that the, um, the, the fight that's just a flat out brawl is just flat out too easy, like, when I when I ask when I want a um a uh a f like a boss that's just a flat out brawl that tests you tests your knowledge of the uh, of the game, um like I want an actual challenging fight, a la like um well not necessarily like Bayonetta or like what have you but like I guess since it, the, the Werehog is more based on this. Maybe like something like God of War, where it's um like you're both brawling each other and like to the death basically, <laughs> um, and uh, it's actually challenging. And you need to think about what you're doing. Uh, the thing with the um the thing about the boss I'm talking about is that um I think it's called like Dark Guardian or something. Uh, the thing is that you just do your regular combos like you do any other enemy, and it doesn't really feel- it's really easy, like, almost pathetically so, and that's why I put this boss a bit higher, because it's a- I don't know, I, I enjoy, like, freezing him up, like, it's- this is not that difficult either, um, I like it more in a HD one, but- it, it's- there's something a bit more satisfying about freezing this giant- ill thing. Uh, and being able to whirl on him. Like, this version's a lot more simple because you don't need to uh, hit it like swelling spots, but hey. And that's all she wrote. And just be in the background. Yeah, God, that was so easy. Oh well, it is, it is what it is. Regardless though, this is uh, the Dark Moray, and this is quite a bit more challenging in this version. Um, f f for starters, um, instead of like having these those ice canister things that you need to break, or the or not ice canisters, uh, these are the ice canisters, um, the, um, generator things. Instead of that, we have these weird ills that just... Yeah, right. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, we have these weird ills that are, like, on the sides of the, uh, platform here. And, uh, you, you can just hit them normally, like that, but it's a lot safer to, um, use the canisters to freeze them and just kill them, uh, right away. Um... Yep, exactly like that. So, yeah, the, what makes this harder is that, uh, well, for starters, um, like, these guys can be dangerous if you're not careful. Um, so, yeah, be wary of that. And, and you have to be more thoughtful of when you freeze this guy, because you need to hit its, uh, like, weak points. You can't just hit, like, any spot, like, in the Wii. Um, and, uh, yeah, these canisters do break after a while, so you have to be quick. And you can also freeze yourself. 
Um, and, uh, yeah, it gets more and more tricky to, uh, uh, hit this guy because, uh, just because of where the weak points are, so. I don't want to hit him yet. Like, when he's, oh, damn it. That might, okay, this is still, still fine. Oh, good. And he breaks out, and that's the last medal, I believe, so, yeah. So this is, um, yeah, this is, um, the puzzle element done right. Like, the Dark Eye Phoenix was fine, but I feel like it's a bit too, I don't know, I feel like, for the Werehog, I feel like it's not that interesting. It's just kind of okay. Whereas this one, like, it keeps going with the, um, puzzle element. And the HD version basically sticks with the puzzle element, and I feel like this one does it the best. Um, and it's, I feel like it's uh, just the most satisfying to figure out as well. And um, yeah, it's not great by any means, but I feel like this is the um, the best, um, the best of the three, personally. And, okay, I need to like. Yeah, this can be a bit tricky, but I need to get this guy when he's like either doing that or he's in the middle of freeze freezing stuff. Okay, can I get get like get to him fast enough? Okay. Uh <laughs> Yeah, that's what that's what makes this difficult. You this like I said, you have to be careful when you freeze this guy. And I just mess completely. So it's not it's not um the hardest thing in the world, but it's also not the easiest. You do have to think about what you're doing here. And I can't really say that about the Dark Eye Phoenix that much. Already the third boss. Like this is like it it like if they were gonna gonna do the the like more of a puzzle element with the werehog fights, that's fine. That's totally fine. But they really should have been more like more of them. Like the others should have been more like this. If you if you ask me. Like this is really hard. Like to get this guy. Like one more. Come on, just get him. I think it. Yeah, I wonder. Now, I'm supposed- I feel like I'm- the game wants me to- yeah, that's what it wants me to do. Him- like, him when he's, um, like, swinging his- his body around. Yes. Again, if they wanted to make these bosses more puzzle-focused, this- this is the- only, really, the only boss of the three that gets it like pretty, pretty um, spot on. I feel like again, Dark Guy Phoenix is just okay, and the third boss is just freaking weird. <laughs> like, I, I don't, I don't get what they're trying to go for there. But we'll get to that. And of course, the uh, Sonic, as in the Werehog form, is too lazy to walk like <laughs> like twenty feet, so he has to use his arms. To he has to use his stretchy arms. And now that should be the fourth emerald restored. So um, yeah, we're getting there. And I do, I do like, I do like how the how the game structures this because we've restored all the areas we've currently like like we've we like we've restored all the areas that we can currently go to, and like now we can open up the second half of the game so we get all new areas, and I feel like that's pretty cool. Oh hey, how you doing? Yeah, yeah, I know who you are. Let me just see what the questions are.
<laughs> wow. Um, shaped robot. I mean, we've never actually given it a name, like in in universe, but sure. Light blue. Giant ill. Red nosed reindeer. Okay, cool. Some nice little things. Like quizzes to make sure you're paying attention. It's all good stuff. Okay, what about the shop? Is the um Prestock Ice? Is that I, I don't know. Let's just buy this for the professor. I, 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 yeah, I'm gonna have to look that up. Like, I, I don't know how you're supposed to get it. Get, like, get the cutscene. One XP. Three thousand. Oh man. Okay. Well, let's get a move on. So I, yeah, I'm not gonna check the like the entrance stage hub. I'm, I'm just, I'm just gonna. Go through. I'm just gonna check the DLC stuff. Like if and if the if there's an act two for DLC, then I know I don't need to look for the like an extra stage. Yep. Okay. Cool. So uh, yeah, there's only act one in in um for uh, what is it the um base game. That's kind of interesting. Um. So yeah. Oh man. Yeah. No. I do believe that there is a. Oh god, look at the. Okay, I'm. That's that stage count was not that high before. Wait, what? It, it, I'm pretty sure it was it. I don't know. I'm so confused. Uh, yeah, that's probably gonna like launch me in right away. I'm so lost. Like, I'm pretty sure the exercise exercise missions will that like, are supposed to show up like show up on the menu. But anyways, I will go to Missouri because I do think we can do one of the uh, night missions here, and then after that, I, I guess we'll just stop for the day.